couple of weeks ago, I did a video teaching you how to feel comfortable and confident on camera. And one of the things that I talked about was the fact that if you screw up, you don't need to worry about it because you can just edit it out later. So today we're going to do a deep dive into, we're going to do a deep dive. Don't worry, we can fix that. And today I'm going to show you how. Today, I'm going to show you three tips to help you erase those mistakes and bloopers with ease. And I'm even going to show you how to make it look like it never even happened. But stick around to the end because I'm going to get around to that part last. Now, although today's video definitely involves editing, it is by no means a deep dive. So if you feel like that's something that you need, if you really want a strong foundation in editing, check out the link that I've provided to you below. It is to the full editing workshop that I did for free in my Facebook group. And you can go and watch it there and learn everything that you need to know. When I'm recording these how-to videos, it usually takes me three or four or sometimes more times to get things exactly right. So by the time I'm finished recording a seven minute video, I've got 40 some minutes of bloopers that I've got to weed through that are never gonna see the light of day. So to help myself out with that, when I finally get the words exactly how I want them, I give my future self a great big stamp of approval by clapping three times. And I do this for every single section of my video, which I break out into multiple bite-sized chunks so I don't have to try to memorize everything that I plan to say. Clapping is an audible and visual way for me to mark the parts that I ultimately intend to use. Now, how does this actually help? Well, let's head over to some editing software and take a look. Now, this is what it looks like to edit in my favorite program for beginner editors, which is Adobe Premiere Rush. I love this program so much because it works on Mac, PC, iPhone, iPad, Android, you name it. And for being so user-friendly, it is amazing how much you can do with it. And it's actually really cheap at around $10 a month. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand my audio by clicking here. And I'm also going to zoom into my timeline a little bit, just so I can see things a little bit easier. So you see this area with all of these squiggly lines down here? This is what the sound of your talking looks like. Now, anywhere there are squiggles, that means that there is noise and you are talking. But anywhere there's just a flat line with nothing going on, that means that you are not talking. And if I scroll down a little bit, you're going to see three vertical lines. And this is what our three claps look like. So I know then that this squiggly area right here before our three claps is the area that I want to use. And if you keep scrolling through, you'll see each time I clap to mark my favorite take. Here's another one right here. So then all I'm gonna wanna do is go through and do this next step to each one of these sections. As you start to discover the areas that you want to keep, you're gonna wanna cut out the stuff that you don't want. This next step works if you're in a situation where you have everything planned out, like a how-to video, and you can utilize the clap technique, or it also works when you're doing something more candid, like a vlog, for instance, where you're just going with the flow. Now your video editor, regardless of what program you're using, is going to have a little line that you can move around called the playhead, and that's what this is right here. Now, one of the many, many things that this playhead can do is help you decide where you want to make your cuts. And in this instance, I want you to think of this like one of those paper cutters that you would have seen maybe in the teacher's lounge at school or in a coffee shop where you feed the paper in and there's a red line that you line it up with and then you pull the blade up and chop down and it, it separates all of the paper that you don't want. So that's kind of how this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my line, my playhead, and I'm gonna line it up where I want to make a cut. And in this particular program, I'm gonna go over to the scissors. But in other programs, you might also see a razor blade, but it's gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna click that, and that is going to make my first cut. And then I'm gonna move it to the other side of where I want to make my cut, which is where I know this section begins. And I'm gonna do the same thing over. Now, once I've made my two cuts, I can separate the part, the no good part that I know I want to trash. 
and I just simply hit delete and it's gone. And one of the great things about Adobe Premiere Rush 2 is that it automatically joins both sides back together like a magnet. Before we move on to the next tip, if you like what you've seen so far, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It helps the video and the channel, and it lets me know what kind of content you like so I can create more of it. So you've got all of your cuts in place, but in some instances, it can look a little bit rough, and maybe you want to disguise the fact that there was ever one to begin with. And there are a couple of ways to do it. The first way is with B-roll, which in a nutshell, B-roll is essentially alternate video that you overlay over the top of your main video. Like that paper cutter clip I showed a minute ago, that was B-roll. And if you wanna know more about B-roll and how to use it, check out this link up top where I explain it all. Now you can use B-roll kind of like a Band-Aid by laying it over the cuts that you've made. Now you can just grab whatever clip it is that you would want to cover up that cut with. And typically it's gonna be something that has to do with whatever it is you're talking about. So I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna drag it over the top. Let me shorten it just a little bit because that's much longer than I need it to be. And I'm gonna make sure that it covers up this area right here. And I'm gonna just try it out right now. Audio, and specifically how I get my videos sounding the way they do. Now audio is a totally different beast unto itself. And voila, no cut to be found. Now another option is to emphasize the things that you're saying by zooming into your video just a little bit. I use this technique all of the time in my videos. Not only is it great for covering up mistakes because it makes my cuts look intentional, but by also sprinkling these in occasionally, even if there aren't mistakes, it actually adds more visual interest for the subconscious brain, which means that your viewers are going to stick around longer. Now in this particular software, Adobe Premiere Rush, where I'm gonna wanna go to change the size of my video is this tab right here. So the thing that I'm specifically going to want to do here, even though I can change the horizontal position so I can move my video around left and right, up and down, but today what I want to do is I want to affect the scale. So making sure that this checkbox for maintain proportions is clicked so that I don't stretch things out I'm going to just take the size of my video up to 115%. And if you look at the difference between these two clips in size, you can see that this cut looks intentional. It looks like I have made it for emphasis. And you can even zoom in more if you're really wanting to make a point. So the next time you make a mistake, don't sweat it because it truly is an easy fix. And the more you employ these techniques, the faster you're going to get. So what do you think? Easy enough? Maybe you've got a few more questions? Let me know down in the comments and take a look around because this is gonna be the last time, at least for a while, that you see a video recorded in this house because tomorrow we are headed back to the United States. So next week when I see you, we're gonna be in a completely new location. I can't wait, and I hope you have a great week. See you in the next one. I'm going to be giving you talking about how to, I hate dogs. Look, Mike will pick up all sorts of sounds before it gets around to picking. <clears throat>